What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with more of your best builds. It's been a while since we've done a best build in Scrap Mechanic, but I decided to open it up again on my Discord and uh, you guys submitted some crazy stuff. So we're just going to jump right into it and right away we're going to start with the Manitou and Pikes Peak uh, number 5. This thing is amazing by Red Stonista and uh, this, is, this is insane. I hope I have the right gauge. It should be narrow gauge. Right? Yeah, it's- I think it's narrow gauge. It looks- it looks like that fits correctly. So, look at this. So, it's, um, I don't- I don't have a hill. I- the track is a terrain asset. I don't know if there is a hill, if someone has made the Pikes Peak rail line. Maybe they have, but this is ridiculous. I mean, the whole cab is sloped because, in reality, it would be going up a hill, and, uh, you want the water in your boiler to stay level so your boiler doesn't have, you know, in this case, all the water would be in the front, and the back of our boiler would explode. Um, so let's see if we can get in. Oh, there's a seat right here. Perfect. Alright, I have no idea. I probably should, like, read the instructions or something, but let's just... Let's just go. I'm gonna assume, like... Okay, first of all, the amount of glitch welding in this mechanism, it's insane. Like, look at, look at the pistons on the front here. They're like, that's so cool. Wait, how do they do that? Yeah, I don't, the, yeah, I don't, how do they, it's like on an angle, like how is that angled outwards? What? That's so cool, like the whole piston mechanism is angled outwards, but somehow is still attached to the main driver. Anyway, needless to say, th there's people in the train building community in Scrap Mechanic that just make some absolutely insane things. Oh, it has the cogs in the middle, nice. Of course, it would have to have the cogs because it was a cog railroad big gear in the middle of the track. I guess we could actually build a track with gears in it. I'm assuming they have a custom map for this. How- I can't tell how it's flipping from forward to reverse though. I feel like with this a lot amount of mechanical detail they must have an actual reverser going on in there and then three is- three is our horn. Yeah, I mean this thing's ridiculous. All right, next thing I want to look at is a Piper PA44 Seminole by uh, Toast 200, and uh, I remember the workshop description on this said it was like their first or not first, their favorite plane. It looks pretty good. Is it? Wait, am I on? Am I on full physics? Are those just naturally floppy? Oh, I'm on simple six. Why am I on simple six? I guess I just spawned a train, so that probably would make sense. It, that train might have lagged on full physics, but there we go. All right, looks all right. I like it. I like the sloped wings. Apparently this just flies with the propellers. Okay. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, how do I get into this thing? Doors? Nice. Oh, this actually looks really, really good. Okay, hold on. How do I close? Let's see. Three is, okay, that's that. I, no, I don't want that. Four is, that seems like my landing gear. Is four landing gear? Yeah, okay. What's five? Doors. Okay, one is, what is one? I don't, I don't, I don't see what one's doing. What about two? You know what? We'll just figure it out once we're in the air. All right, let's just, let's just take off. That's actually insanely smooth. Okay, that's cool. Let's put the gear up. It's got a little bit of the dusties, you know, the good old scrap mechanic particle effects coming off that, uh, you know, left aileron. But it's fine. It's not bad. The rate of climb's a little slow just because I think it's propeller driven. That's kind of the way it works when you use propellers to actually generate thrust in Scrap Mechanic. They're, uh, they're a little bit slower than thrusters. It's cool. It stabilizes. I don't know if it's doing that on its own or just like, like if I'm in a bank angle. Oh no, no, okay. No, it doesn't really do that on its own. Probably just because we were climbing or something. Yeah, it like, it, it's got a nice roll to it though. It's so smooth. It's insane. All right, what does one do? One's not doing anything. Now my engines are both smoking. Yeah. What about two? Am I like... Is one and two like adjusting pitch or something? I feel like I'm adjusting the pitch on the propellers. Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it makes me go any faster if I am adjusting so Maybe it does? The Wings mod is so fun, and it would be very, very interesting to play survival with it. But this is a sweet play. This is awesome. In case you ever need to bring you and your friend- What's the first person like? Actually not that bad. I mean, it's a little tough to see out of. There's not much, uh, there's a big sort of pillar here in the way. 
but it's pretty good. All right, let's try landing this thing in first person, just right here in the desert. That's fine. Uh, uh, four. Put the gear down, right? And then we need to probably just cut the throttle a bit, and you know that was that was probably we're dead. All right, now that we're out here, I want to look at this. I don't think it's uh, gonna take too long. It's called a swerve drive by Kurt. This kind of got my attention. It just looked cool. I'm assuming it's some sort of really you know crazy gear setup. Uh, I just wanted to look at- I don't know what kind of gears those are, though. I really should get into building stuff with gears and scrap mechanic. But yeah, I don't know what mod that is that uses these gears. I definitely have it installed because, you know, I've got all the gears. Maybe it's that- I don't know. There's probably like a mechanical parts mod. So if I hit the whole W... Okay, it goes forward. How is it driving that? Well, there's a drive shaft up through the middle. Okay. That's cool. So there's a drive shaft that goes all the way through the middle of rotation point. It goes through that other gear. Down into this spot. And then it rotates that gear, which then rotates that, which then rotates the wheel. Okay, cool. And then if I turn... Oh, this is one of those drives that lets you do 360 degrees of turning. And, and it can infinitely turn. There's no limit to it. Oh, that's cool. I feel like it can't go very fast because it's got a lot of gearing going on, but this is this is cool. So what's up in the in the capsule up there? Just motors? I'm assuming so, right? Like it's just a motor that spins it? Yeah, that's that's so neat though. Alright, someone's gotta make a vehicle with all four of these and then independently control each one. This is actually really, really cool. This is what those, um, this is what boats use, right? Those big, like, cruise ships and stuff. Although, theirs are probably, like, I don't know if theirs are just a giant electric motor that's underwater or if they use a gearing system to do it. All right, next thing I want to look at is this car, uh, by Jogan. It's an I-4 piston drive for front-wheel drive. And the only reason I want to look at it is because we've looked at a lot of piston cars before, but this one's a front-wheel drive, which I thought was kind of interesting. And it said in the description that it was, like, a drift sort of thing. And yeah, there's no... There's nothing attached to the back, so what does two do? And two oh I see two enables drift mode. I see. So it just uses frictionless blocks to lift up the back end to drift. Okay, okay, gotcha. And then one the gear the engine kicks in. It's actually it's actually front wheel drive. Wow. That's actually kinda cool. I get Okay, so what are they hold on, what do they got going on in here? I, I need to get I need to get to a straight flat section here. We can take a look at what's going on under the hood while it's driving. They've got an inline four. Okay, yeah, so that's just like a standard, pretty standard piston engine. You can build that in vanilla, no big deal. Not glitch into each other. It's got an encoder wheel there. Okay. And then it just goes to, it's suspended to two drive shafts that are on like a universal. Like what? It's just got two bearings and then they drive to the wheel itself. That works? Really? Huh. I can't believe that works. We don't get, like, crazy steering angle out of it, because I feel like the shaft is, you know, getting jammed up. But that actually, that actually works. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's enable this, this drift mode. Oh, it is very, okay, it's actually insanely drifty. I really need to make a scrap mechanic drift car that that yeah i could make a scrap mechanic drift car using that low friction stuff it's not exactly realistic because like as soon as you put the wheels down you just get grip but it behaves really well and we could use like the mod pack to make a drift gyro just like my rc stuff has and yeah it would be really really cool we could make a really functional drift car in scrap mechanic it would probably have to be front wheel drive though. Although maybe we could do it rear wheel. The, the problem is you need the rear wheels to have enough grip to give you forward movement, but not so much grip that you don't slide. So we might, maybe there's like a, a combination you could do there with like rear under suspension and then have a bunch of the car's weight lifted with low friction or something. But this is, this is actually pretty cool. Or we just make front wheel drive drift cars. Yeah, I might, I might do that at some point in time. We might have to build a drift car and scrap mechanic. All right, the next thing I want to look at is this fast printer, 16 by 8, page 2 colors by Caspi74. Apparently, this is a printer. I'm assuming it prints in blocks because we've got um, just a whole bunch of block shooters that are attached. 
and I guess we just can select what we're gonna print. But yeah, apparently it's a printer. I don't know. Let's see what this does. What? How was it that fast? Are you it actually did it in two different colors? Ha ha hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's just What? That's so quick. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's 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 that this was a terrible drawing. This was Can I clear this? If I just like put on a lift, does it clear? Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, that was a bad drawing. Let's do let's do something better here. All right, sick. Well, this is like the coolest. This is the coolest thing I've ever. This is really cool. This is actually. I don't know if you ever want signs. I guess in Scrap Mechanic, this just makes makes some nice. I'm assuming you can change the colors too. Yeah, you just change which blocks is in each of these, and you can have whatever you want. That's that's so cool. I like. I don't even know what to say. It's just really cool. Now you got to make a 3D version. That's got to be the next thing. You have to make one with like vertical layers as well, and then it. That's so cool. Well, that's just that's great. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. That's cool stuff. All right, next I want to look at this race car plus vanilla two-speed trammel gearbox by Ben Bingo. Um, apparently this thing. Hello? What is, uh. How? I have questions. I have a lot of questions. How is that floating there? And is it supposed to be floating there? Does that. Is that, is that. Is that part of it? Apparently it's a two-speed gearbox. I don't... Okay, one goes forward. Yeah, and then two... Does two just shift into a lower gear or a higher gear? This thing is so fast. I, I just... I turned off two. It. I think two is a lower gear. And then you press it and it goes into a higher... How is this working? I have so many questions about this creation, it's not even funny. Like, like, number one, how is this working? Number two, I feel like the giant spinning weight is supposed to be like a gyro to keep us down from bouncing all over the place, because this is incredibly smooth. Like, this is staying super flat, but how it's floating in midair on the creation on blocks that don't exist, like, I don't think there's invisible blocks in this. I'm pretty sure this is completely vanilla. Is it not? It's vanilla. So, like, wait, what? There's zero plastic? Hold on a minute. Yeah, okay, so there's plastic somehow. There's, like, non-existent plastic blocks that are holding this up, I guess. It's got to be a gyro counterweight to keep things going. All right, so let me let me deduce what's happening here. So, clearly, uh, clearly there's a, there's a, there's, um, yeah, so, like, this, this is attached to, to, to that with nothing? Right? And then that goes to the discombobulator, which is attached to this with nothing. Because clearly there's just no... There's no block here. But don't worry, there's this thing. It's like a, a, a brake pad or something that's kind of like on the side of, you know, this. Because like wheels are attached that way. And then this is like... I don't know what the heck is going on. Like, what is this? What it... What... You're not allowed to do this in Scrap Mechanic, okay? You can't you can't just come along here and place a toilet paper roll, you know, in between component kits on a travel gear with some weird... I don't even know how this thing shifts properly. Not to mention, like, how are the wheels even spinning? Are the back wheels even powered or is it just... It's just front-wheel drive, right? Just front-wheel drive. Okay, so at least I figured out that much. How is it... How are you powering your wheels? I have so many questions about this. And then it uses like a single piston, or dub, oh, okay, it's dual piston engine there. I'm so confused about how this thing works. It is fast though. It's incredibly fast. All right, the next creation I have is a giant train, like massive. And I did check and it says I got to set this to physics one first. So we're going to go to physics one right away. And uh, I'm also insanely impressed that this is cool. How do you guys... I don't understand how people get doors to work on Physics 1. Because every time you try and use, like... I guess it's because they're bearings. Pistons on Physics 1 just don't... Don't work at all. They just sort of... Uh-oh. Oh, now the game's gonna crash. 
Oh, maybe not. It was gonna crash. Okay, there we go. We're on the track. Perfect. Holy cow. Okay, this thing is massive. Where do we- I guess we'll start at the back and work our way to the front. And go through it. This is insane. I, I'm assuming this is some sort of a commuter train. It's, uh, you know, what- wait, hold on. What is it- what was it called? It was an SBP DP7 RE450 IMU. Oh, Jesus. There's like- it's just all abbreviations. ZVV S-Bahn by X-Fighter. So... Yeah, definitely a commuter train. We've got a cab in the back for going in the opposite direction. Oh my god, that's way too many controls. Ah, uh, right. We'll come back to that and figure that one out. It's got an upstairs observatory, or I guess upper level. This is, this is really nice. I like this a lot. The sloped windows looks really good. I love all the doors. Can't believe how, like, how good people can make, like, compact builds and scrap mechanic and have them still be functional. I th okay, so that's an obs observation. Well, I guess these are all just travel cars. They're not really observation cars. It's just like two-decker, double-decker commuter cars, right? This is really, really cool. Super impressive. There's no bathrooms, though, on this train. Um, I've noticed. There's an observation car, or top car there, whatever. Is this a bathroom? What is that? Just like... Sneaky, hidden area? Weird? Okay. Something for logic and stuff? No? Weird. I don't know what that is. Alright, that's it. And those are all the... And then, if we want to get into the locomotive... You gotta go... Okay, I don't know what this is. What the heck is that? Why are there all these sensors on a... Alright, weird. And then this is just a bunch of logic to control the train. Alright, cool. And then we got this. Alright, so, number one... Moves us forward. That's cool. Wait, is it like piston powered or some weird stuff? Like, is this... What is this thing doing? I have no idea what that is. I love the way that people do this with the trains, by the way. The overlapping pistons to make it look like it's um, like one of those train tunnels. So it looks like it's fully connected because the pistons have no clip. I have no idea what that thing is. It's got to be, like, I don't think it's powered. There's no bearings or pistons or anything. So it's just, like, reading, like, distance off the... I don't understand. It's read. It's got to be reading distance, right? Is it, like, a speedometer or something? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, it's doing something with that logic. I don't know. That's so cool. All right, let's, uh... So that's one. What does two do? Two is reverse. Okay, no problem. Let's go one again. Three... I should probably read the instructions, right? Like, that would probably be a good idea. Alright, one is release brakes, two is reverse direction, three is decrease throttle notch, four is increase throttle notch, five is doors left, six is doors right, Left seven is lights, eight is lights, nine is pantograph, ten is locomotive door. We're gonna go four to throttle up. Yeah, crank that up all the notches. There we go. Alright, five is doors left. Six is doors right. Man, this thing is so cool! It's so good! I can't believe Physics 1 works like this well for trains. It's actually unbelievable. It's a little bouncy on the track at full speed, but... It's so good. Alright, seven is lights. Eight lights. Yeah, if you're going in the opposite direction. Nine is... Pant oh, the pantograph. There it is. Cool. And zero is something. I don't remember what zero was. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe how well this works. Like, it's actually insane. Can I go faster? Is this is this max speed? I feel like this is max. Alright, can I walk around? Well, I'm, hold on. Actually, we're in the wrong spot. Um, let's brakes. Okay, the brakes work great. Let's get into the other one. Pop right in the back here. I'm assuming all these controls are the same. One releases the brakes. Six closes those doors. No. Five closes those doors. There we go. Alright. And I got yeeted out of the cab. God dang it. Well, that was that was short-lived. Not going very fast. We can stop it. We're gonna stop the train. Is this gonna work?
Oh my god, the train exploded. Yeah, no, that was that was it wasn't very fast. All right, one final thing I want to look at is this asteroids logic game by Kivion. Apparently, uh, it's giant and it's asteroids and uh, I'm completely frozen. Okay, it just has to load. But yeah, it is a giant. Oh my god, it is like we're on physics one and this is laggy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's uh let's weld it, I guess. I don't know if this is gonna Okay, there we go. So let's weld that. Perfect. Let me go to physics advanced. I'm assuming it has to be advanced. Okay. And I guess we can just play asteroids. So how does this work? I could rotate. Oh my god. Can I move? Oh god, am I dead already? I'm dead already. Perfect. How do I shoot? Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I can't believe this works. A little a little hard to aim at some of the asteroids, especially on the diagonals here. I that got me, really? Okay, I got 51 points. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. Yeah, some of the diagonals are a bit difficult to aim at. This is actually insanely good though. What? What? What kind of what was that? Death. Death. You know what? 60 we could do better than 68. No, I'm gonna do survival again. This is actually really, really well done. Okay, these asteroids are a little bit stupid, to be honest. Let me go over here. It actually does momentum, too. Like, that's ridiculous. It thinks of your momentum of your vehicle. What? How are there so many? Okay. There we go. I think you just have to constantly move in this. Can I... No, get get him. Get him. Get oh my god, get him. Get get him. Get him. Get God, get him. Get him. There we go. This is ridiculous. This is so good. This is actually like one of the best logic games I've ever seen. The the Okay, the like come on. The heat seeking asteroids though. The the lack of diagonal shooting does kind of hurt sometimes. I will give it like or like all I can do is aim in one of the eight directions, you know? 45 degrees or up. I can't shoot at like a 30 degree angle. And I'm dead. 202 death. Wow. That is that's actually insane. That's I don't even want to yeah, I don't oh my god. Right. So like you know. Yeah. Oh my. How do you even, like, wire that up? And, wow. What happens if I change this to be an AND gate? There you go. Now, the whole system is broken. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing more best builds. I love taking a look at what you guys have. This is just insane. I mean, you guys make some crazy stuff, and, uh, it gives me ideas for other stuff, but, like, not this. I'm not, I'm not building this. Yeah, this is, it lags when you pull out the connection tool. The whole game loses half the frame rate just from the connection tool. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure, of course, you hit those buttons down below, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.